There we go. Super. Stick some light on. Okay, perfect. Just stand and start circling your shoulders. Get yourself starting to move. There we go. We're there. <laughs> start circling your shoulders. Let's get you starting to move. Really big circles with your shoulders. Really feel your shoulders squeezing together. Open up through the chest. Nice big circles there. And all the way around with the arms. Nice big circles with the arms. Try and keep your shoulders away from your ears as you circle your arms round. There we go. And let's just come up onto your toes as well. Come all the way up and circle down. All the way up. Nice breath in and breathe out. There we go. Fantastic. Two more. Come all the way onto your tiptoes and down. There we go. All the way up and down. Good. And then just stand with your feet hip width apart. Let's just walk through the heels and just get some movement. Try and keep your hips steady and just pulse through the feet, one foot. Stretching onto the other. And then when you're ready, we're gonna grab the band. Put the ball to the side for a second. So take hold of your band, it's gonna go underneath your feet. So stand um, with the band a little bit, uh, so your feet are hip width apart. Take hold of the band low down so you've got some tension in the band. Okay, so the band's under tension as you're standing up. Shoulders round into back pockets. Draw your tummy button in towards your spine. And as you breathe out, we're just going to do a little roll down. And as you roll down, keep your bottom muscles switched on so you're pushing your hips forward. As you peel yourself forwards, let the band pull you down. Good. And when you've gone as far as you're comfortable to go, your hips are going to start to rotate down and then the band goes nice and loose. And on the way back up, take that tension into the band. That's going to make you just engage a little bit stronger through your tummy, through your abs, and just peel the spine back up one by one. You've got that tension going up through the band. Super. Let's go down again, chin to chest. Slowly peel forwards, one after the other. Each of those vertebrae are going to open as you make your way down towards the floor. Keep releasing there we go and roll through the hips good draw in through your tummy squeezing through the glutes restack through the spine one after the other as you restack here we go all the way up shoulders into back pockets fantastic let's do one more roll down chin towards your chest slowly peeling down really keep your hips tucked under so switch on those glutes switch on your bottom muscles make sure that they're keeping your bottom tucked under until you've moved every bone you possibly can in your spine and then you can let your hips start to rotate round and we're coming down towards the floor super restack under get your hips on top of your knees as soon as you can so you squeeze your glutes push your hips forwards restack through the spine one by one shoulders round into back pockets and come up nice and tall fantastic right from here take a little bit of tension out of the band and we're going to go into a little squat as you go into a squat the arms are going to come forwards and come back up so let me just turn my way around you're going to sit down into your back heels so sit back arms come forwards and draw back up. So it depends how strong your band is. I've, I've gone for the easy version. I'm on a lighter band here. So um, if your band's quite strong, you might not find your arms going too far forward, but that's fine. Just get that activation of the muscles. So you're coming down still into a squat and just start to take the arms forwards as far as you're comfortable to go. And then drive through your heels as you stand back up again. That's it, bend your knees, stick your bottom back, draw the arms forwards and then come back up. And you'll feel as your arms start to go forwards, that's when the abs really, or that deep core muscle starts to really engage. You should feel it. If you come down into your squat and leave your arms by your side and then bring the arms forward, you'll start to feel really deep down in those core muscles there. You'll notice they're starting to switch on. That's it, draw yourself back up. There we go, squat down, draw the arms forwards and release as you come back up. Let's do a couple more. Squat, pull the arms forwards and draw yourself back up. Good. Squat and come back up. Last one. Squat, stay down in this squat position. Try and think about a nice straight flat, uh, flat back. So watch you're not arched through there or too far tucked under. So try and keep that straight line through your back. We've got tension in the band now and we're going to draw the arm up close to your body. So I'm showing you from the front, elbow staying close release the elbow down other side draw the elbow up 
and release it back down again good draw it up and release it down good breathe out draw the elbow up and release it down there we go that's it good good breathe out as your arm draws back and breathe in as it slowly comes back now remember this is one of those exercises that you think the work's happening on the pull because you're going against resistance but you're actually controlling that muscle as you're slowly releasing it back you're actually working harder on the release back so you're working to sort of decelerate the movement there we go squeeze elbow stays close to the body try not to lift out towards the side draw it close to the body and come down and the back is still in that straight position so you've stuck your bottom back drawing it back one more on each side there you go draw it back slowly release draw it back and slowly release and just stand yourself up nice and tall okay let's go for stretching down through the backs of the legs here we're going to bend forward so this is the one where we stick your bottom out and let the band go down and then pull through the band as you come up so it's a hinge from the hips and a lengthening of your hamstrings so this time the hips don't stay over the top of the knees you actually push your bottom right back keep your chest high as you go down so you get that stretch through your hamstrings and then draw back up so you've got some tension through the band there which is just creating a little bit extra work there we go and breathe out good and again slowly down but still slowly back up it's a slow control against the um, resistance of the band slowly down good and slowly back up again really work through your bottom when you get to that top squeeze position slowly down and slowly back up again fantastic good breathe out and breathe in as we come back up let's do two more Breathe out. Each time you're going down, we're trying to get a bit more of a stretch through your hamstrings. That's it, good. And breathe out as you go down. Breathe in as you come back up. Super, let's come off of the band. And let's look at a little bit of balance. So I'll put that to the side so you can see. Um, we'll need the ball in a second, not just yet. Get yourself balanced onto one foot. We come forward, so. There we go. Get yourself balanced onto one foot. Think about hips nice and level so we haven't kind of done this hitch movement. Okay, and we're just going to raise one leg. Hold your balance. Work really hard through the ankle that you're standing on and you're standing up nice and tall at the moment. Just draw in through your abs and hold that strong position. Good. Keep breathing. Try not to hold your breath as you do it and then place the leg back down. Swap through your feet, one foot to the other. That's it. Go on to the other leg. Draw the knee up. We're going to try and get all the way to 90 degrees. Whoops. This is hard to turn to the side to look. <laughs> Can you find something in front of you to look at? That's it. Good. So again, we're working really hard through the ankle, squeezing through the glutes, thinking about shoulders on top of hips. Okay. So that was the prep work. Pop the leg down. So we're going to work um, at least two more stages. So from here, we stand on the front one leg make sure you've got nothing behind you and nothing in front of you because we come into 90 degrees here here we pivot from our hips as you pivot from the hips and start to drop your chest forward you're going to kick the back leg back if you can from there stretch your arms forward so we're going to try and create this superman position so you're going to squeeze through your glutes to lift the leg up and stretch and lengthen through your arms you're working really strong through your abs to hold hold that position as you go forwards there so really squeeze that back leg and then just gently see if you can pivot it <laughs> all the way back up and then obviously we've picked our strong leg first so let's see what happens with the second leg so get yourself balanced nice and comfortably onto that leg lift up to 90 degrees from here pivot from the hips kick the leg back drop your shoulders down towards the floor and straighten, straighten your arms out. There we go. Stretch. Hold it. Keep drawing up through your abs. Try not to twist your hips. So this, what happens is we try to lift that back hip a little bit too much. So just squeeze with your hips. Good. And then pivot through. Okay. If you were super wobbly, have a little practice with that and don't bring the ball in just yet. Um, if you were okay with that, um, grab the ball, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to come onto that front leg, you're going to take the ball forwards, keep the ball in the centre to start off with, really pull up through your tummy, get down as far as you can, and we're going to see if we can take the ball out towards the side, really challenge that balance. Hold the arm there, draw your shoulder round, bring the ball back. So, let's get back in that position. We're in this position, take the ball out, draw it back. That's what we're doing. Okay, see what's happening. Keep really strong through the ankle you're standing on. Keep drawing up through the abs. And what happens with the hip is that leg that goes back, you kind of do this a little bit. So think about pushing that hip down so you're keeping the pelvis flat towards the floor if you can when you're doing that. Okay, swap onto the other foot if you haven't already. Go onto the other foot. So hopefully, see if we can get and do it this way around. That's it. Pivot, stretch the arms forward. Don't lift the leg too high if you're a bit too wobbly. You can do it. You can do it from this position if you want to. That is still challenging because I'm still drawing in nice and strong through here. My weight's still going through that front leg. I just have to work a little bit harder if I want whoop, <laughs> to take it into this position and work with the ball. There we go. I can't see if anyone's collapsed on the floor yet, so hopefully everyone is still okay. Pop your ball down. Let's go. Um, Let's go down onto the mat. So come and take yourself onto your backs. Take the ball and put it underneath your pelvis. Let's start to loosen out through your back. There we go. So put the ball underneath your hips there. So the your sacrum bone is on the is on the uh, on the ball, and we're just going to roll and tilt the hips away, and then roll and tilt the hips up. So we've got this rolling over the ball. This is actually one of the movements that we do as part of my fascial release sometimes um, if we were to bring the over balls in. So this actually starts to really release through the connective tissue, but just starting to get your glutes to fire a little bit. So as you tuck your hips up towards you, it's that start of that shoulder bridge movement. So do that little squeeze with your bottom and then release, tilt your hips back. Good, tilt your hips under and squeeze and roll the hips back arch through the spine, that's it, good. One more each way, tuck in, and then roll out. There we go, find yourself in that mid position now, so you're not too far tilted away, and you're not too far tilted up, and you're just gonna breathe in and activate through your deep abdominals. Okay, on your out breath, you're gonna breathe out, and lift the leg up into coffee table, and breathe in, pop it back down again. Good, breathe out, lift one leg up and breathe in, pop it back down again. Good, breathe out, lift up, and breathe in, back down. Keep going with that pattern. Just take your focus to your low back to make sure that you haven't overarched your back. Sometimes when we start to bring the legs in as levers and start to lift up, we transfer that tension to the low back if you're not drawing in enough with your abdominals. So if you feel your back starting to arch or tense up a little bit, just make sure you're pulling in strong enough with your core and you're just not moving the back. If you are moving the back, what you can do is just switch to just bringing your foot so it's just to hover, and the other foot just to hover, just a little bit, so we're not moving the back too much. Okay, if you can, then we're going all the way up. Okay, let's see if we can create the challenge by going into scissors. So this time, one leg is up on coffee table, and as you take this leg down, at the same time, you're lifting the other leg up, so they're passing in the middle, and coming up to coffee table. So now we have to work harder. There's gonna be a little bit of a wobble going on over the ball. We're trying to work really strong through the abdominals to make sure that's not happening. Good. If you want to make it harder, the foot doesn't actually touch the floor. It just hovers above. So we're coming to this. If you need it easier, make sure you put your foot down and then switch, pop the foot down. Good, so keep drawing in nice and strong through those abs. Good, keep breathing. So we'll do one breath. So a breath in as you lift a leg up, breath out as you lift the leg up. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Keep going, couple more. If it's got a little bit tired or your quads are kicking in too much, your back's starting to hurt, then obviously just stop there. There we go, breathe in, lift leg up, breathe out other leg. 
pop your legs down. Okay, from here, you can actually do your stretch on the ball. If you want to open up for your hip flexors, lengthen your legs away so you'll feel like the hips are opening. Okay. Or if you feel you need to get a little bit of flexion in your back, you can actually do knees to chest while you're on the ball and you get a lot more lift through the pelvis so you get a deeper stretch if you do it like this. Do whatever you feel you need to do. Good, just hug through there. Perfect. And then when you're ready, pop the legs down into neutral position again. Okay, so. We're going to build this up on the ball. So the aim is to try and keep nice and steady onto the ball. And then when we come off the ball, we'll have super strength and I'll make it a little bit challenging in a different way. And if you came to the one in the park this week, then you, we're repeating one of those exercises. So let's go for the first bit of prep. One leg comes onto coffee table, lift it all the way up towards the ceiling and lower it down. Draw it all the way back up again. Coffee table, pop it back down. Other side, coffee table lengthen towards the ceiling, lower it all the way down, keep thinking, lengthen it, go all the way down so you get that stretch through the hip flexors, draw it all the way back up, 90 degrees, pop it back down again, other side, 90 degrees, lengthen, push the leg away, draw the leg all the way back up again, 90 degrees, pop it back down, one more, coffee table, lengthen, lower it down, Lengthen it all the way back up, coffee table, pop back down. Okay, so next level, we're going to see if we can do coffee table, coffee table. If you can't, I'm gonna show you a version just to um, make it a little bit easier. So from here, yeah, there might be a little bit of wobbling going around on the ball. Just get yourself nice and steady first of all, then we'll do the lengthen and lower. Lift it back up, coffee table lengthen and lower control it so you don't create that arch in your back that's what we're watching is happening so stay stick with that if you are comfortable with that if you need it a little bit easier go to coffee table with one foot and with the other foot just lift the heel um, so that your toes are just still in contact with the mat but you haven't lifted too high with that second knee and then you can sort of lift lower with the leg that's on the coffee table and then swap the legs over lift the other leg to coffee table, go to tiptoes on that second foot and the leg that's up lifts, lowers, raises back up, 90 degrees, pop back down. But if we have managed to get both feet up, really focus on what's going on through the low back, lengthen the leg and lower it, lift it, coffee table, lengthen, lower, lift it come back up really focusing on keeping the core activated making sure that the low back is not wanting to arch and I'm actually putting my hands under my back so I'm getting a little bit of feedback to know whether my hips are starting to roll or my back starting to arch there we go let's do one more on each leg lengthen and lower that's it lengthen and lower it perfect take yourself into whichever stretch you need so you might want to draw your knees to your chest or stretch out over the top of the ball or if it's too much stretching your legs so this one is quite a nice stretch lengthening your legs out over the ball but not everybody's back likes that so you might just want to go into a full body stretch but take the ball away just do what you need and get your arms involved as well have a good old stretch okay so we're going to come off the ball now but you are still going to use it a little bit abby this session so hopefully <laughs> you're not going to be screaming at me tomorrow okay so we are going to just recheck in with the pelvis position so you've got nice uh, neutral position with the pelvis make sure you've got that nice little arch underneath your back and you're going to breathe in and activate through your abdominals okay let's see if we can just re-prep into coffee table draw in with your abs coffee table make sure your pelvis doesn't move feels a bit weird now you're off the ball okay lengthen and lower, lengthen and draw it back up, lengthen it away, lower it down, lengthen it back up, come back to coffee table, one more on each side, lengthen away, breathe out, lower it down, breathe in, draw it all the way back up, good, breathe out, lengthen and lower, breathe in as it comes back up, fantastic, and then place down coffee table for, uh, onto the floor. Okay. Here's where the ball comes in. You're going to pop the ball between your ankles 
I'll show you, um, have a look at the screen and watch before you try and do this because sometimes explaining it doesn't quite make sense. We're going to get, your, get the ball uh, in, between your, in between your ankles, lengthen the leg away and as you, um, when you're ready, you're going to draw one foot towards you, it draws the ball down and then lengthen the foot away. Okay, draw the ball in as you bend your knee, the ball rolls down the inner thigh. So don't hold it, hold it kind of around your ankle bones. That will make it easier on your, ankle, uh, on your legs. So as the knee draws in towards, um, towards you, as you lower it down, your knee comes straight down, it doesn't go out towards the side. And just look at your ankles and make sure that your ankle is staying in line with your legs. So the tendency of people to do this is to do all sorts of things with their ankle to try and hold the ball. So like, um, it kind of kind of come in onto the ball like this. I need you to keep your foot Keep your foot facing forward and straighten back up good Draw it in Lengthen it away. Let's do one more on each side. Draw it in Lengthen it away. If your back's hurting pop the legs down There we go finish up with that one pop your feet down go into a stretch lengthen away Good. Perfect. And we're doing good. Let's just, we'll do one more when we're lying on our back and then we're going to go on to using the band to switch on our glutes again. So pop the ball between your shoulder blades. Again, this is one we've done a few times, but it's quite a nice exercise. You can make it hard work or you can make it a nice stretch. So it goes at the lower part of your shoulder blades. So we're, we're not too far sat up. Hands go behind your head. So you're just going to rest your hands on your head here, elbows resting out like that. Okay, here we go. As you breathe out, let your head drop down, lift through the ribs. Breathe in as you come up, draw your abs in. Good, breathe out, lower down. Breathe in as you come back up. Good, so you can keep it from sort of neutral position and going back if you just want to have the stretch. If you wanna to start to switch your abs on as well, that's where you draw all the way back up. As you're drawing up, you're thinking about putting your ribs into your, um, into your pelvis. So really connecting through those, the muscle at the lower part of your ribs and your pelvis. Breathe out as you go back down and over. So breathe in, lift. Good, breathe out, go down and over. Fantastic, breathe in and lift. There we go, if you want a little bit extra um, challenge for the last few, you can bring your arms forward. Don't let your neck take the strain. Draw the arms forwards, really reach. And then as you come back and over, take your arms back, let the head drop back. There we go, we get extra stretch with the arms and roll back up, squeeze through the abs as you come up. Breathe out. Lengthen back, relax through your neck, try not to take too much tension. If you realise that taking your hands away is giving you too much tension in your neck, then pop the hands back. Let's do the last one, roll yourself over, and then roll back up again. Perfect. Come off the ball, and we are going to pop you back over onto all fours. Um, we're going to pop the band, I'll show you, pop the band around your foot. I think we've done this one a few times before. Come into your, um, come into your uh, all fours position, but the band is around one of your ankles. So make sure you've got good contact with the band and your hand pressed nice and tightly against the mat there. We are going to breathe out and lengthen the leg away and breathe in, draw it back. Let's do five like this. Now, you think the work is pushing your leg back, but what I want you to concentrate on is keeping the pelvis level. So as you push this leg back, what you might find happen is that you lean onto the other side. That's what we're wanting to stop happening. So think about your tummy button being over the center of your mat and keep your tummy button over the center of the mat as you draw, draw your leg back and then let it come in back nice and gently. Breathe out, lengthen it back. Breathe in, let it come back in. Breathe out, lengthen back. Keep strong in the middle. Keep that tummy button over the center of your mat. Finish up the one you're doing with that leg. And then this time, we're staying on the same leg so we don't switch the band around too much. We're gonna to lengthen the leg back. From here, you're going to sweep it out towards the side. 
keep the tension in the band, draw the leg back to the center and pull it back to start. Here we go, four more with this leg, lengthen it back, strong through the abs, work out towards the side, squeeze the muscles on the outside of your glutes, release them as they come back in. There we go. Breathe out, lengthen. Circle it round a bit, back to centre and release it back in again. Fantastic. Two more on this leg. Control it as it goes out, strong through the abs. You'll feel your abs switched on a little bit more as you take your leg out towards the side. There we go. Last one. Switch it on, squeeze through your glutes, take your leg out, feel your abs switch on a little bit more. Watch you don't transfer the weight onto the other knee. Fantastic. Pop the band around the other foot. Ooh, a bit more tied up. There we go. Wrap it round. Come back onto all fours. There we go. Get the set up right. Make sure your shoulders are above your wrists, hips above your knee. And when you're ready, breathe out. Straighten that leg back. Keep your hips steady. Breathing as it comes back in. Watch you're not leaning onto the other knee. There we go. Breathe out. Stretch back. Breathe in as it comes back. If it feels like it's too hard to push back, take your, um, a little bit more tension out of the band. So hold it right at the tips so that you've got less um, resistance as you push back. So breathe out, stretch that leg back. Good, really think about keeping your tummy button in the center. Think nice and long through the neck, shoulders placed down into your back pocket so you're not hunching up through your shoulders. Good, breathe out, lengthen. Breathe in as it comes back slow. Remember that slow draw back in. Don't let it just ping back because the band's trying to draw it back in. Resist it. Decelerate the movement. Good. Okay, and now we're doing the push out towards the side. So breathe out, lengthen. Same as you've just done. When the legs straight out, take it out to the side. Abs switch on a little bit more. Your glutes have to fire a bit harder. There we go. Draw it back in. Whew. Breathe out, lengthen. Sweep it out. Draw it back in. Breathe in. Good. Breathe out, lengthen. Really make sure your tummy button's staying over that centre part of your mat. Hips are working hard on both sides, actually. Probably a bit through your shoulders as well. <laughs> Try not to take all the weight onto your shoulders. There we go. And let's do one more on this side. Breathe out, lengthen. Take the leg out towards the side, switch it on, sweep it back to the center, draw it back into that start position. Fantastic. Okay, let's pop the band to the side and loosen out through your back. Here we go, nice breath in, push your spine up towards the ceiling and breathe out, lift through the hips. There we go, oh, that feels a nice, nice release through there. Breathe in, push up and breathe out, sink through. There we go. Breathe in, tuck all the way up and breathe out as you sink down and round. Lift. Last one, breathe in, tuck up. Good, and breathe out, come back to centre. Let's just stretch out through your glutes on both sides. So we're going to tuck one leg across in front of you, stretch that back leg back. So we're getting a good old stretch through your glutes just there. Just have a little sink into it. Lean into the side you're trying to stretch. Here we go, good old stretch through there. Fantastic. That's it, just keep breathing. Try not to hold your breath when you do this. It shouldn't be that tight that you're, that you're finding you need to hold your breath. So if you've got to that point, just ease off a little bit. There we go. And then very gently untuck yourself. And let's slide the other leg across. Lengthen that leg back. And let yourself sink down. There we go, just lean into your glutes there. And that's it. Okay, keep breathing and lean into it if you feel you need a bit more stretch. Ease off if it feels like it's a bit too tight and you're, <laughs> you're in a bit, it's more a pain than a nice stretch. Good. Super. Untuck yourself. Let's bring yourselves up to standing. So go onto all fours, tuck your toes under, push yourself up into that down dog, really stretch through your shoulders. So push your heels back, lengthen through the shoulders. 
Good. And then bring your feet into the centre, hands in towards the centre. Push through your ankles, get your knees straight, tuck your hips under, roll up through the spine one by one. Lengthen all the way up, shoulders round into back pockets and stand up nice and tall. Good. Just circle through your shoulders. Fantastic. And we do a nice breath in and breath out. Good. Breathe in and breathe out. Onto your tiptoes. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathing in, breathing out. Full body swing now. Breathing. Come all the way up. Breathe out. Swing your arms through and stand up tall. Last one, bend your knees, sweep through, Put, whoop. <laughs> push up to hold it, heels down, arms down, well done. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, we've got beginners Pilates after this, stretch and release on Friday, we've got bands and my fascial balls on Saturday morning, and um, a gentle mobility Pilates on Sunday night, so hopefully I'll see you for some of those. See you.